Uh, he is one of the biggest faces in stand-up comedy, and tonight he's going to show us why. He's not just going to chat to me, he's going to come out and do some material as well for you. Will you please welcome Mr. Jimmy Carr, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, thanks very much. Thanks very much for Puffs. I'm actually quite a gay-friendly act. I was asked last November to judge Mr. Gay UK. I said, no problem at all. He's against nature and against God and he's going to hell. <laughs> my girlfriend said, have you been having sex behind my back? I said, who the bloody hell do you think it was? <laughs> and another thing, it wouldn't kill you to look around once in a while, check how I'm doing. <laughs> I've got a friend whose nickname is Shagger. You might think, that's quite cool. She doesn't like it. <laughs> I was walking through a very rough area of London, near where I live, and walking down the main street, and this little 15-year-old urchin came running out of a side alley. He was out of breath, puffing and panting, clearly in some distress. He said, help, help, me and my mate are being mugged. He said, of course I'll help. My mate and I are being mugged. <laughs> There are one million obese children in Britain today. That's a frightening fact, isn't it? One million obese children. You realise if they all jumped up and down at the same time, they might lose a little bit of f***ing weight. <laughs> I saw a homeless guy on the bus today. He got off. I thought, how does he know it's his stop? <laughs> My girlfriend used to get annoyed with me because I used to leave the toilet seat up. So, I don't do that anymore. I always make a point of putting it down. It's just a little thing, but, you know, it shows that you care. You know, and this is a woman that I love and I want to spend the rest of my life with. But there's no winning with her. Now she's annoyed because it's covered in piss. <laughs> <laughs> I am painting myself in a bad light there, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, I'm, you know, I'm not really like that. I'm actually a very modern man. I've got no problem buying tampons. But apparently, they're not a proper present. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> so, I'm being misogynistic for comic effect, obviously, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mean it. It goes the other way, too, doesn't it? Men, men are no good at stopping and asking for directions. Would you agree with that, ladies? Yes. I'll put my hand up for that. We are no good at stopping and asking for directions. Of course, on the other hand, maybe we wouldn't have to if you could read a f***ing map. <laughs> right, well, that's about all the stand-up we've got time for. Better go and talk to Jonathan. Thanks very much. Good <laughs> car. That was great. That was great. Sit down. Mr. Yeah. Jimmy Carlo, really. <laughs> that was great. And, and I think you upset just about everyone watching. Well, I, think I don't we... think it's offensive. If you offend everyone, then yeah. it's OK. OK. That's like blanket bombing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's great. You're a great stand-up comedian. There's no Thanks very much. Uh, you're on tour. I believe you're doing a thing called uh, Off the Telly. It's a new tour. Yeah, doing a tour okay. around the UK. And there's a London. DVD out, Jimmy uh, Carr Stand Up. You can get a copy of that. Now, what can we expect for our money in this? Because you buy a DVD, you don't just want the stand up. Are there extras on here? Yeah, the extras thing has got big the last few years. You have you're to spending, have extras. Well, you're spending 20 quid on a DVD, and you think, well, I don't just want the show, I want something else. So yeah. I made another TV show just for the DVD. Just for the DVD? What yeah. sort of show? Well, it's called Comedy Idol, and it's a bit like Pop Idol, but with comics. Okay, so you, you had people come along and audition? Yeah, people right. that wanted to try stand up came along, auditioned, and obviously some of them were brilliant, yeah. and some of them were brilliant for different reasons. <laughs> Just kind of like the way we enjoy people who are on The X Factor, for example, who aren't necessarily the most polished performers. It's like that brilliant first couple of episodes of The X Factor where you see people that are funny because... They... Because they shouldn't be out on their own. <laughs> Quite right. Yeah. So how does Comedy Idol work? Because uh, Pop Idol and The X Factor and those kind of shows, there's a prize at the end. Did you just have people down just to see whether they're any good, or did you give well, them Well, the guy that eventually won it, the prize was kind of coming and performing at the theatre where I recorded the DVD. So he came down and performed in front of, you know, a thousand people. And, and was he any good? He was brilliant, yeah. Really genuinely brilliant. Wow. There was so loads of great people in it. Let's talk about, uh, you've been out in the States a few times, I know this. Not only have you been out to appear on other people's shows out there, but you've, you've made shows for the American market, haven't you? I ha I've made a couple of series of a thing I used to do here called Distraction for uh, Comedy Central, which is, you know, it's pretty good fun. And so what's the audience like? Is it a different sort of audience you get in America to here? I mean, the audience number one in the studio and also the people watching at home. What kind the of audience thing? in the studio when you record a show in the States are about, I would say, maybe a day or two away from homeless. <laughs> so they're just happy to have somewhere to sit down where it's not going to get wet. They're all paid to be there. They pay them. They pay the audience to be there. Oh, shh, don't. <laughs> Oh, the audience pay the host to be there. Good idea. <laughs> um, 
I would that it was so. They pay the audience I to be there, them. and they're there for. We record like four shows in a day. They're there for twelve hours. Well, that's why they pay them. Yes. <laughs> Don't panic. They're, they're enjoying this. Oh, good. And, and does that mean that you can boss them around and, and tell them what to do because you're paying them? Well, I don't think so. No, you've still got to try and entertain them, but it's just you're th they're there for a long, Can't long just, time. You, you should, if you're paying, just say laugh, f and they laugh and put it in. Like <laughs> Which is what laugh. Pop, f <laughs> it does work. It works. Uh, um, eight out of ten cats has yeah. been doing great for you on Channel Four. Yeah, it's been really All right. Good it's fun. a very funny show. I enjoy doing it. I'm hoping to come on the next series. Yeah, well, hopefully you've got yeah, an invitation any time you're free on a well, Friday night. Why don't you just invite me along? I'm oh, is it on Friday nights? It is on Friday nights. What time is it on Friday nights? It's, it's on about 9.30, okay. so you could do it and then run over here in the magical TV world where we record on the evening. <laughs> you trying to claim this isn't a Friday? Oh, no, this is a Friday. Yeah. I was saying my show. Your, Your show, show is not this is a Friday. Of Friday. Um, <laughs> now, how about those sports results? Oh, Ooh. wow. <laughs> Can't wait for... Can't wait for Saturday morning. Well, Saturday tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. No line for me, radio show. Um, <laughs> now listen, you're looking good. You're looking much better than I remember you looking. He's looking smart and handsome, isn't he? Now... Nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Well, you know what, because they, they, think I, they think I'm being mean. They were thinking you're looking... You do look great. It's a great suit. You look very handsome. You look very smart today. Um, and I've seen you advertising in the newspapers. You've become a male <laughs> model. Who would have thought that yes, could happen? for corrective footwear. No, no. There you are with Martin Freeman and Bob Mortimer. Obviously, you know, not, not the three greatest looking men in the country, but <laughs> there's, a, there's a homely charm. Um, and you're advertising clothing for Marks and Spencer, is this right? That is correct, yeah, we did. We did. And, you know, they phoned up and said, do you want to work with those two and David Bailey? And I went, yeah, That's what else have I got on that afternoon? Brilliant. <laughs> but I didn't know M&S made such lovely suits. That's an M&S suit you wear in there. Uh, this isn't M&S, but I did use the money to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> And your honesty is a rare thing. I tell you what, the socks and the pants. I'm joking, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, hard as it might be to believe, Jimmy is also breaking into the movie world. All right? Again, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks very much. Uh, you're going to be in uh, the movie Stormbreaker, which is based on the, the very popular books, which aren't just for kids, but they're spy books that were primarily aimed at kids, I believe, by yeah. Anthony Horowitz, I think. They were, yes. Uh, and so what are you playing it? You don't play the lead, presumably. I... Well, no, because... No, obviously, no. Well, no, he's a kid. Sorry, he's silly. No, no, no. He's a kid. He's a little kid. Yeah. That's, yeah, I, didn't no, I mean, don't, you don't couldn't play... play a leading role. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I only filmed for two days. It's kind of, you know, it's one of those things that kind of gets reported. Who do you play? What, what part do you I have? play uh, an MI6 spy. I, need, I did it again just because there was really great people in the film, so I thought... And also, it must be great to get offered a part in a movie. It just well, it's that thing that, I mean, a lot of people don't do sort of films. They go, oh, no, I could never do that. But I, can't, I don't know how you resist it. Yeah. Someone phones up, well, you want to be in our film? And it's what got are you going to say? I'm busy that afternoon. But it's got you and McGregor in it, isn't it? Uh, Mickey Bill Rourke, Nye. isn't it? Bill Nye. It's a proper, you know, A-list British It's a proper grown-up film, yeah. Now, and me it? dragging it down. No, 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 don't start saying that. Now, let us decide. Now, um, <laughs> when is it released? When does it come out? I think it comes out in July next year. And so is this what you want to do? You want to act? you want to go into movies? I, do. I, w I, w I don't think I consider myself an actor. I've got no range at all. But if you want someone that's a bit middle class and looks like me... You <laughs> are in luck. <laughs> so probably not a lot of work coming your way then, but... <laughs> The occasional character role. I would imagine I could do something, you know, the before and after. There's some sort of weight loss programme. No, knows? you're looking good these days. You've lost loads of weight. <laughs> Mainly off your face and a lot of things, because you used to be big. Thanks very much. You yeah. used to look like a space opera in a suit when I first saw you. <laughs> I, d I do often look a little bit like a, a, a child trapped in a lift. Nothing <laughs> 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 been going on. Um, yeah. If you saw a child trapped in a lift, would you punch the face to put him back into the lift <laughs> or try and pull him out? Oh, punch the face. Yeah. <laughs> That's an easy question. That's the right answer. You've won yourself a cameo in my next movie. Good news. Have you never thought of doing any acting? Yes, I've done a bit. You did a bit, though. You, did, you were in the Shrek. What it was, was... They went for voiceover because on camera, obviously. I had a bit part, but when I was on screen, apparently, people wanted to see more of me and less of the other actors. <laughs> so it wasn't considered fair. Wow. What a lovely fantasy dream world you live in. <laughs> A wonderful place to visit. <laughs> it's nice in Fairyland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree he's a very funny man. He's on tour. You can get the DVD. Why wouldn't you want to go and see him and buy that as well? It's Mr. Jimmy Carr. Jimmy, great to see you again. Thank you for coming on the show. Great job. Jimmy Carr, looking smart in a suit. <laughs> My girlfriend said she wanted me to tease her. I said, all right, fatty. <laughs>